some drinks for the road. Daytona, here we come. All righty, so me and the food guru here, we're finally about to embark on our journey over to Daytona. So let's get going. Long trip. All righty, folks, at the moment, we're just putting gas in my truck. Uh, from there, we're gonna be heading out to Daytona Beach to go to Bucky's. Um, if you ever go to the Wawa's, definitely look for their ooey gooey bars. They're really good. Well, folks, game fans, fans of fans, we promised you, and we're bringing it to you live right now. Bucky's, home of the giant beaver. Yes, I know we didn't do the beaver jokes, but I'll take care of that later. Uh, but we have this place to give you an idea as huge as could be. Like if you take a look real quick, as you can see, the lighting. Definitely a lot of light. Yeah, good fix. We are here and we're gonna check it out. Oh look. <clears throat> okay, check this. Yep, yeah, Sasquatch and a raccoon on the back of a truck. That's amazing. They get paid pretty damn well. Bucky Associates between 15 and 19, food service between 17 and 19, team lead 17 to 21, apartment lead 22 to 32. Wow. That is impressive. Three weeks paid time off. Hey everybody, this is your food guru with the food master here. <laughs> this day right here at the world's famous Bucky's. Let's spin it around so y'all can see it. Yep. Take it up, take it up. Look at that. Go back this way. Go back this way. Yeah. I'm in the way. Over there, right there. World's famous Bucky here in Daytona Beach. What we're gonna show you is everything in this huge place that they have from the 120 gas pumps to the amazing food to you name it they have it all right so let's go inside and see what they have
Hey everybody, this is Road Trip Treat, food guru here with the food master. And yeah, we, I think we somewhat overdid it. I don't know, to be honest. I think we did. <laughs> I know I did. <laughs> we went to Bucky's and got a whole bunch of food. We did. Yeah, some big ass sandwiches. Like yes, we did. <laughs> Starting with something massive as the XL. Uh, this is the XL Chopped Brisket Sandwich. Mm -hmm. Bucky's Club Melt. Mm -hmm. And then basically I got the Barbecue Turkey Sandwich. <laughs> uh, it's not an XL, it's just a regular size sandwich, but uh, he can eat more than me. So. No, okay. <laughs> I plan on having some leftovers for my dinner. And then for the side snacks, I think we went a little crazy and we both got beaver nuggets. Good. Can't go wrong with some beaver nuggets. <laughs> Don't know what they taste like, never had these, so we're gonna try that out. And then, I know I've had these before, but from other places, but uh, roasted pralines. Oh, pecans, I should say. Be yeah, sorry. Um, these are pretty good. Uh, to give you an idea, this here is $3.99. The sandwich as you can see it's $5.99 it's pretty big for being a sandwich of that size um the beaver nuggets were like three something yeah they're like three and change yeah and then food guru got himself a big red from what we have learned uh this is liquid death for diabetics <laughs> <laughs> straight up sugar and my other half is going to tell me really you drank that didn't take no damn insulin you go, you, you're going to hear about this. I'm like, oh, okay, babe. Yeah. And then some very odd stuff, but he got quail eggs. Pickled quail eggs. Yeah, pickled quail eggs. For $10, $9.99. Oh, I, I don't know where, where it got. You only live once. We're going to find out. Um, <laughs> I opted in for the key lime pie uh, little yogurt thing they had there. It's uh, $3.99, looks pretty good, we'll find out. Of course, Bucky, Bucky's Nuggies. <laughs> Bold and spicy, so we're gonna enjoy it. Nothing wrong with some Bucky Nuggies. <laughs> we got teriyaki beef jerky, holy beef crap. Yeah. Yeah. They had they, a huge selection, mm, guys. They had a whole wall uh, full of beef jerky. You name it, from what I saw, they had it. Uh, basically, it's in the video, you, you'll see. We went in and we shot, like, I would say, an hour or two of footage of every into that place, and then a ton of pictures. Oh, and also, too, on Instagram, Road Trip Treats on Instagram, check it out there. There's a ton of pictures up there. Um, and then for our YouTube channel, Road Trip Treats, don't forget, like and subscribe. Indeed. Now, let's get into food death. <laughs> One more thing before we even get started. I didn't, I couldn't make my mind up on which piece of fudge I wanted to try. I'm not really a fudge person, by the way. So everybody just kept saying their fudge is amazing. We're gonna find out. I'm not a huge fudge person, but I couldn't pick just one. So I got their Verity pack. It was $13.96 for a whole, that's pretty massive. Like that's a good amount. So we're gonna find out. That's a lot of fun. It really is. So, uh, let's dive in. Yeah, you first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Well, I know this should be after, but I want to try these. So here we go. And like I said in the last one, uh, for people who like to watch people eat, <laughs> you're going to have a serious time right here. So, Beaver nuggets. Look like popcorn. That's not bad. Really crunchy. Mm. I would say these are one of them kind of things where if you're watching a movie at home, mm -hmm. this would oh, go yeah. quick. <laughs> very quick, actually. This would go very quick. It's kind of like um, cheesy poofs. 
What? Cheesy foods, really? <laughs> Cheesy foods. All right, Cartman. Coated in some other stuff. Um, it's very sweet, crunchy, and... They're really good. Mm. I can definitely see myself sitting there without just thinking, just nonchalantly, just keep eating it over and over and over. That's what's happening right now. So let's try these, uh, Bucky Nuggies. Mmm, ooh. Definitely smell the spice in that. Um, bold and spicy. I'm sorry, bold and sorta spicy is what the package says. Sandwich, brisket, beaver nuggets, beaver cheesy poos. <laughs> Prayer legs, fountain drink, big red, big red. It's not a trip at Bucky's without big red. Yep. And basically, what is that? Key lime pie. Key lime pie right Put there. It. And then pecans. Honey roasted peacocks. Teriyaki jerky. Yep. Roadkill. Picked up on the side of the street. Couldn't tell if it was or wasn't. Just sweetened up or spicied up to make it taste better. Yeah. Really good stuff, that. Yep. Um, their brisket sandwich, extremely messy. Literally, it's just falling apart as I'm eating it. But holy wow. The flavor. Mm hmm. Flavor is all there. It's very saucy, cooked to perfection. And that whole little chant they do when they put brisket on the table is just mind blowing. You'll hear it throughout the place. Fresh brisket or something like that. They just yell it and then the whole team just chants it out. Impressive. Think of a fresh brisket on the table. Yeah. And then while, they put the while, sauce on it. While it's cutting it up. Yeah. They go. Really nice. Seriously, guys, look at that. Fucking amazing. Mm. I don't even know the brush. There's nothing damn meat. <laughs> I seriously can't eat with this, man. Mm. Fat on that, so good. <clears throat> Definitely not traditional gas station food. No, as they call it, roller food. Mm -hmm. uh, no, nowhere near roller food. This is <clears throat> cooked right on premises, the way you would like it to be, mm -hmm. and it's all good. Plus, too, if you want to get other stuff, mm -hmm. they have T-shirts, mugs, um, coolers, bikinis. You name it. Yeah, they even have swimsuits. I'm like. Most of the time when you go to any place in Daytona Beach or any one of the beach areas, there's like a, what they call a Ron John surf shop that sells swimwear, but never at a gas station. Well, this one, one has like everything from, if your car is not running properly, mm -hmm. they have stuff there to help it run. Not a whole repair shop, but stuff that you would need like coolant and all the other things. And then to, if the little ones need to be entertained, they got toys there that they could play with. And then food among food among food. Oh yeah. And then souvenir shop. Since we're in Daytona and it's not that far from the Florida Georgia line, this has become like a tourist destination mm -hmm. where you can come, stop at Bucky's, take all the pictures you want. Because everybody there was really nice, very friendly. Very friendly. Very they friendly weren't stuff. even saying, don't do this, don't do that. I even got questioned about my camera and my gimbal and everything like that from one of the employees, which was Very cool like, guy. He, yeah. <laughs> you know, he's doing a little bit of his own stuff, too. Yep. So, I would say, if you're on your way to Georgia or coming from Georgia into Florida, it's on 95. You can basically stop off, gas up, because they got 120 pumps. They do, they offer ethanol free, the uh, regular, you, you name it, they got it. Yep. And then, place to get some good food. Oh, uh, cheap food, I thought. Yep. Well, if somebody spent $100. I bought a lot of stuff. <laughs> I literally just, I couldn't help myself. I, I found a list online 
all the cool stuff you should definitely try when you can visit a Bucky's. And that's what I did. You know, as soon as I saw Quail Legs there, I was like, you definitely gotta get it. Key lime pie, uh, Bucky Nuggies, uh, Bucky, Bucky Nuggets at that. <laughs> it's our favorite thing to say, in case you haven't noticed. Um, yeah. Everything that was on that list, I made sure I got one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be a true fatty today. I'm gonna have to go to the gym later on. This is not gonna work well for me. <laughs> He's over there still eating his uh, turkey. Was it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, turkey. I'm gonna try out the teriyaki beef turkey. Mm. Packing the package open. That is. This is just teriyaki. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Hill Country's brand, teriyaki beef turkey, made in Texas from solid strips of beef ready to eat. They most certainly did. And that cow made some damn good burnt beef jerky. Mm. I really want to try that turkey one. No, I'm I'm, maybe later on. Oh. Um, the brisket XL, I want to say it was like 10 bucks, 8.99, I think it was. Um, overall, that one sandwich filled me up. Um, so I guess I have a Bucky's Club melt later on. 5.99, I think it's massive. Seriously, look at that. It's They're so good. Um, I don't even know if your camera recorded the damn uh, bell eggs. No, I think it did. I hope so. If not, I'll find out. Alright. We're gonna fudge it up now. With some Bucky's homemade fudge. They have a whole section. <clears throat> make all of this stuff fresh. Wow. I don't even know what's what. I can actually smell a lot of that uh, chocolate from here. It's really dense. It's smelling. Did they put a knife in there? No. No, I'm just going to have to cut it. That's just weird. Give us a knife inside the package. I don't know what's what. Um, you can kind of see an assortment of all these different pieces of fudge. I'm not gonna hold it up. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go for the one with the uh, normalization on it. Is it? Yep. There's a top and then there's a bottom. They're taking some of this one. Oh. Mmm. It is dense. <clears throat> Most fudge is. Very sweet. That piece definitely had some caramel on there, or at least caramel on Um. Very nice, actually. Now, I'm not a fudge lover. I really don't like fudge. Anybody that knows me or anything like that can truly say that, sit there and tell you that I just don't eat sweets. I'm not into it. I don't like it. That is good. That's actually in danger of getting completely eaten before we even hit Tampa again. <laughs> Holy crap. It's 
Flow Rose. <laughs> I think I'm done with the fudge for now. <laughs> really good stuff though. Definitely good. I can definitely think of a few people that would love to try that. Um, oh yeah. Definitely. A lot of people would like it. Pay me like 50 cents a piece. <laughs> We're gonna edit that part out. <laughs> We have got to edit that part out. <laughs>